Hi, my name is Sushin. I'm a huge Rocky Balboa fan. He's, I'm tied between him and Rick Grimes for who my favourite fictional character is of all time. But as well, Sylvester Stallone is probably my favourite actor of all time. So my brother and his friends suggested me to rank all the Rocky movies and worst the best. I thought, yep, yeah, that makes perfect sense and I will do that. So I'm sitting down here now to stop and rank all the Rocky movies, including Creed 1 and 2, from worst to best. So let's get started. <laughs> So coming in last place, I do have Rocky V. Now I know everyone's go-to for the worst Rocky movie is Rocky V because it doesn't end with an actual Rocky Balboa boxing match in a ring. It ends with a pretty weak street fight, which in fairness does not work well with this franchise. But in saying that, I, my always go-to is it's a good movie, but it's just not a good Rocky movie because it doesn't have all the good huge Rocky moments. Like Rocky, you see from Rocky 1 to 4, you see him grow, you see him get smarter. But in this movie, because I, I know in the background they wanted to bring... Rocky back to how he was a Rocky one, so that's why they took all his money and everything away. But they kind of make him stupid in this movie, which doesn't really work. But there is some good elements in this movie. Like it is, of course, his son actually plays his son in this movie, which is great. Adrian, it's her last movie, which was it was it was kind of. I think the reason she doesn't come back is because of contract reasons. But it was good to see the ending, even though it wasn't the end. We didn't actually see an actual ending to her, but it was good to see her last movie. Paulie's there, he's a lot more prominent than he was in the other two movies. It was and the I think I remember his name, I think his name was Tommy. I'm pretty sure his name was Tommy, the guy Rocky's training is an ass, but the relationship that you see Rocky and his son go through is it's not good. You see them that's you understand kind of why his son has no interest in him in Rocky Balboa and Creed 2 after seeing the kind of stuff he puts him through in this movie. Because I imagine this isn't the first time he does this and it won't be the last time he did it through this franchise. So I'm not really sure but in saying that I've watched it many times I don't mind watching it but when Creed 2 came out last year me and my girlfriend sat down because she had never seen any of the Rocky movies so we sat down and I wanted to watch one the Creed so she can go into Creed 2 and fully know exactly but she never finished Rocky 5 this is one movie she actually hasn't finished from start to finish I think she got to the point when he meets Tommy for the first time and she goes no I don't like this I don't like what they're doing with Rocky at all so she just said, can we switch it off and skip the movies we went to Rocky Balboa? And to this day, she's never asked to go back, so that's all you can say. And then coming in at number seven, I have Rocky Tree. Now, when it comes to this movie, I enjoy it relatively enough, but whenever I watch the franchise, like whenever I start at one, I always tend to watch all of them in a row, but when I get to Rocky Tree, I'm like, oh, do I actually have to watch this one? Because it's, it's enjoyable enough, but there's a lot of elements in this movie that I just kind of feel like drag. Like the kind of villain of Mr. T I'm not overly fond of the whole Adrian and Rocky subplot I'm, I'm not, as well I'm not really fond of there's just a lot of this movie I don't really like it's like they were trying to go for the, keep the serious aspects of Rocky 1 and 2 but also go into the more comedic kind of like ca cartoonish kind of, of Rocky 4 but they couldn't decide which way so they have a really serious moment then a cartoonish moment and it just it didn't really blend well for me I still prefer it to Rocky 5 but not really by much it's still kind of Maybe depending on the day, I could prefer Rocky Tree, but I don't know because Rocky Tree it still isn't an amazing movie. And then coming in number six, Rocky Two. Now I really enjoy Rocky Two. It is one of the most rewatchable ones in the franchise of the Rocky movies. But the aspect I think is weird that it, it starts with Apollo going, "We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna fight." But of course they do fight. But I think it's because Apollo gets abused after abuse. People call him a chicken. That he isn't actually the real champ because in a way he isn't really the real champ. But the whole Rocky and Adrian storyline, it is interesting. Like you, I love their engagement scene where he just kind of says it in a whole, a real Rocky way of saying, "Will you marry me?" And the whole, the whole thing about their kid that because of the stress of everything, she has to go back to work because she can't afford anything, because like he can't do anything. He doesn't want to go back to Chase and being working for sort of for the mob, and he, she doesn't want him to fight anymore because of the damage you went through from the first movie. And as well, he tries to market himself as like, oh, I'm the guy who almost bet Apollo Creed. You should put me in all these ads. But he can't read, so he can't do anything like that. So she goes back to work. And all the stress of that makes their baby come earlier. I think it's a month or two earlier. And then she falls into a coma. So he doesn't go see the baby for two months because of this. But then when he finally sees the baby and she gets all excited, he goes, win for me, please, just win for me. And he goes, he, he fights Apollo. And it's very close, but in the end, he beats him. And then the whole screen, when he's just saying, shouting Adrian, he says, I did it. And he goes to her, she's saying, I love you. And he's just, you see that joy in his face. Probably one of the 
best moments in this franchise and I absolutely love it. Coming in at number 5, I got the softish kind of reboot of Creed. Now when I heard Creed was coming out, I wasn't really expecting much. I thought, okay, Rocky Story is done, why are they doing Creed? But I absolutely loved it. The first time, I think the first block of it, the very first time I watched it, I thought, this is weird, but the ending was great. But at the point of rewatch, I've really grown to really love Creed. It's not one of my favourite in the franchise, but it does a great elements like Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson are brilliant together in this movie. As well, seeing Rocky at this old, like that's one of the reasons I love Rocky Balboa as a character. Because we got to see him grow from like a 30 year old man to in his 70s. I just think it's brilliant that we actually got to see this. That his story has continued on so much at this point. But Adonis, Adonis Creed, of Apollo Creed's son, of his kind of what, a bastard kind of son. Brilliant. I, getting Michael B. Jordan is the perfect casting of it. He just does such a great job of carrying the Rocky story up beyond. And the relationship that Adonis Creed and Rocky Balboa share is just it's amazing. And the fight scenes as well. Because like technology has moved on to such a point where they couldn't do it in the 70s that they could do it now. It is just remarkable what they're actually able to do in this movie. And it's just... It, it's not one of the most rewatchable ones. Like It's not one I really like to watch as much as the other Rocky movies. But whenever I put it in, I have a good time. And coming in at number four is, of course, Rocky IV. That was not planned. It just happened that way. But I absolutely love Rocky IV. It's the most cartoonish of all the Rocky movies. Because after this movie, they kind of gave up on the cartoonish element. Because I think they got a bit of feedback saying, how did a serious kind of franchise turn out to be like this? So they went back to the seriousness. As you can tell, Rocky V's down the bottom of my list and Rocky IV is extremely high on my list. So I don't know if I would like in the cartoonish to keep going. But anyways, but I love the fight between Apollo and Drago where Apollo actually kind of he dies. But I loved how he comes out singing Living in America. And I was praying in Creed that he would come in Creed 2, that Creed would come out to fight young Drago playing Living in America. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But I guess I could just mute the TV and play it myself because... I haven't done that, but I'm actually going to do that now. But I loved it. I love the whole fight. I love how he dies. But I always thought, what happened? Why? Imagine if Rocky threw in the towel and Creed was okay. He just became crippled from the waist down or just something like that. And Creed held it up a Rocky all the time. Like, I am paralyzed because of you. I just thought that would be an amazing element to see how the whole franchise would be different if Apollo Creed survived. And this movie is built up of montages and they're all brilliant there's about five or six montages that run for about five minutes like probably my favorite one is when rocky's climbed through the snow with a log in his back runs up the hill and then shouts drago it's just absolutely brilliant and the songs as well fantastic the fight and rivalry between drago and and rocky absolutely brilliant i just i love this movie it probably is the most rewatchable one probably the most enjoyable one but compared to the other three it just i have to put the other three ahead of this one and We'll let you know why. Coming in at number three, I've got Rocky Balboa or Rocky Six. I absolutely love this movie. I love to see how Rocky is sixteen years after seeing him in Rocky Five. Like tragically for him, Adrian died. His son wants absolutely nothing to do with him, and Polly, if it's possible, is more of an ass now than he was back in the day. He owns an Italian restaurant now, and he just he just wants to be left alone. But then the simulation shows that Rocky would beat the new heavyweight champion of the world. So Rocky thinks, you know what, he gets an amazing speech inside of a, a court saying, if it's if he, something he wants to do, who has who has someone, who does someone think they are to have the right to tell him he can't do it? And an amazing speech, it's one of many speeches in this movie that are amazing. But he goes, he gets he gets his license, he goes to fight and his son starts giving out to him saying, just because, how do you think it feels to me for me to be under your shadow because you're the big Rocky of Balboa and I'm just trying to get a name out there for myself. Like every time I do, people just see me as your son and Rocky gives probably my favourite speech no not probably this is my favourite speech of all time I literally have a canvas photo of the speech on my wall downstairs I love the speech when he tells him that it doesn't matter like you can't point the finger at someone else and take the, say they're the reason why you haven't got somewhere you are in life you, it's all on you it's it's just I can't quote it right now but it's an absolutely amazing speech if you haven't heard it listen and it will just boost your confidence no matter what because it's an amazing speech as well, the fight at the end, to see Rocky, or Stallone, I think he was in his mid-60s at this stage, fighting this fight, it was it was awesome. He's still so muscular. He looks bigger then than he did in the other movies. I don't know how, but he looks so much bigger. The fight itself was great, and to see the relationship between Rocky and his son build up throughout this, like, this movie was absolutely fantastic. It, As you see, it's number three on my list. It's one of my favourite. 
but that speech itself, the one I quote there that he says to his son, is probably my favorite part of the entire franchise. And now, just like Rocky Four, this was not planned, but coming in number two, Creed Two. Now, as I've said in the previous ranking, this is my favorite movie of 2018, and I absolutely love Creed Two from start to finish. I love the kind of songs that they added into it, especially running when he's have the montage in the desert. I love how Creed and I can't remember her name, but Tessa Thompson's character. I love how their relationship just builds to a lot more where it's kind of it kind of represents a lot of Rocky and Adrian's in Rocky 2 where they get engaged, they get pregnant. Also absolutely amazing elements to see Creed and Rocky's relationship build. Just it's great. And as well you see at the start when you see Rocky's hair back, you it's it's a nice little way to know that the, he doesn't have any cancer anymore. I actually forgot to say in my Creed part of this ranking that Rocky actually gets cancer in Creed 2. But anyways, and to see him come back up against Victor Drago, I think it's Victor, I can't remember if it was Victor or Igan, either way, one of the Dragos, you see the first fight when you see him punching the ribs so many times and you feel the pain, and as well he, in the second fight, when you see him get punched in the ribs, and I was actually kind of grabbing mine in pain and watching him go down, and it looked, that fight was probably the most brutal fight in the entire Rocky franchise, and it was absolutely hard to watch. As you can see, like I've got the, I've got the Creed poster right behind me, Absolutely love Creed. Best movie of last year. One I've watched. I've got the Steelbook as you can see. I've seen this movie four times on Steelbook. Twice in cinema. Once on a plane to New York. Love this movie. Can't wait to watch it again. It's probably. It isn't the most rewatchable one. It's the best out of Creed movies now. But I know. Like. I don't know. I don't think I've said anything about Creed 3. I've heard rumors about a Rocky 7. I don't know if that's true or not. But I don't know if it's anything about Creed 3. I'm not overly pushing a Creed 3. I would love it if they made one because I love this franchise. But I think like Creed, Adonis Creed's kind of story arc ended perfectly in this movie. He got out of his dad's shadow. Rocky's story arc ended perfectly. I don't mind if they do a new one. But I wouldn't be that pushed if they didn't do a new one because it ended perfectly. But we'll have to find out. And my number one favourite Rocky movie of all time is Rocky. Rocky is the ultimate underdog movie. It's the best sporting movie of all time. It's just, it's a great, it's, such, it's a low budget movie, you can tell, even to this day, you can tell it was a low budget movie back then. But even the background story to this movie, I absolutely love that, kind of Stallone based it off his life. And even to this day, he says he was not the right choice for Rocky, but he said, I will do, you just pay me for the script, I will do the cheapest possible, you can pay me the cheapest possible rate ever you can pay me to play Rocky. I just, I have to play this character. I love, I just love it, I love the whole storyline, I love how he, the way he's picked it to fight. I love how he's picked to fight Apollo. I love the whole the dating scene with Rocky and Adrian when they're in the skating rink. And Adrian, she doesn't she doesn't really want to be there, but she's there anyways. And he's just running around the ace because he won't go on skates. He's just running around with her, and he's just talking and talking and talking about boxing, and he just does not stop. And you can tell she's sort of interested, but she also doesn't really care. Polly, complete asshole in this movie, especially when he throws the turkey out. And she's crying and she Rocky takes her off. Mickey, he's sort of an asshole, but you understand where he's coming from. Like I didn't even mention him in this this whole ranking so far. Didn't even realize why I mentioned him there. But Mickey, ultimate Rocky Balboa character in this franchise. Such an amazing part. He's like he's in Rocky one, two, and dies in three. As far as I know, he's in five. I'm pretty sure he's in five. But such an amazing character to go up against Rocky to kind of have them them two butting heads on what they should do. Where Rocky thinks I need you to help. With yeah, Mickey's like, no, I'm not helping you. But then once he gets the opportunity, Mickey's like, oh, I want to help you. And Rocky's like, I don't know. But it's just absolutely fantastic. The end fight, you like, you can tell it's all staged. Like, it's not like it is in Creed 2 where it feels real. But it's still fantastic. I love this movie. It's the one I've seen the most. I've only seen Creed 2 and Rocky in cinema. Because there's a cinema locally that plays all these older movies. I think Rocky is playing in cinema next weekend. And I'm probably going to go see it again because I absolutely love Rocky. It's my favourite in the franchise by far. No movie's ever come close to topping Rocky. And if they ever make another one, I don't think it will. So that's my ranking of the Rocky Balboa franchise, including Creed. You can probably tell by my ranking here that I love all these movies. Let me know what your ranking is down below from worst to best. I actually love to hear them. Like, I actually, I love, I've, rankings are probably my favourite video. So if you have any ranking suggestions, let me know down below. I've got a backlog, I think about 10 or 11 videos of this age of ranking. So click subscribe so you can see all that kind of stuff. Click like this video, I do appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching.